Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Slipper. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you for coming. I am going to show you what sold over the weekend on eBay. We have $1,164 going out, as well as Poshmark, Mercari, and Etsy. There are quite a few items that sold really, really fast on this video that I think you need to know and be on the lookout for. So let's take a look at what sold. All right, so up first is some carnival glasses. These are marigold color carnival glasses. There were three. They sold for $15.58. I paid three, so they're about a $9 profit, and they took about three to four months to sell. All right, up next is going out to viewer. This is going out to Sandy. It is a fun, do what makes you happy Simply Southern. This one's a really cool ribbed sweatshirt. It is brand new with the tags. I picked this up at the Simply Southern outlet for $6. Sandy picked it up for $23.39 plus shipping. So this one's going to be about a $12 to $13 profit. So Sandy, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate your purchase. Up next is a little bandana. If you do not know, these can sell. The big thing, this is a blue paisley that you need to look out for is made in the USA. You can see it inside out there. That is the ones that tend to sell. This one I paid 50 cents. It sold for $10 in about two months. And this one's going to be about a $7 profit. Up next. Up next is Bell, and I've sold quite a few of these. So this one has the metal hanger. There's your Bell. You can see it's really rusted. I actually only paid about a dollar or two. This one sold for twenty, and it's going to be about a fifteen dollar profit. Up next is an item that sold pretty much overnight, and is a really really good profit. And it's kind of out of my normal of what I sell. So it is actually a toy. It is a play school take apart car it's got the little people in here it's got the tools in the trunk and this one actually sold for more than any other one had sold for on ebay this one sold for 70 dollars. it was a best offer i only paid three dollars for this on an auction so this one is about a 60 dollar profit in under a day up and next is a program book from Chicago the Musical. This one actually took over a year to sell, but doesn't take up much space. This one I paid only a couple dollars. It sold for $17.24, so it's going to be about a $13 profit. But again, this one took a while to sell. Up next is a Harley Davidson pen. These have been listed about seven to eight months now. This one is the Eagles with the Bar and Shield logo. I paid a dollar. It sold for 10, so it's about a $7 profit in about seven months. On these, I haven't been telling you what the buyer pays for shipping, but just know we do charge the buyer exact shipping. So it's kind of a wash. They pay, we pay it out, and it is not any profit or loss to us in most situations. Up next is the Longa Burger Basket. Me and this buyer went round and round, and I think this was their last offer. So don't bend if you know something's worth what you're asking. This one is a Daisy Longa Burger Basket. It does have the insert for like a vase of flowers. This one has the tie on Daisy handle. This one sold for $49 plus the buyer paid shipping. I paid eight, so this one's about a $35 profit, and it did take about four months to sell. All Longa Burger baskets are marked on the bottom there, so they are easy to identify. Up next, something else that's not typically in my wheelhouse, and that is this Task Force charger. Picked it up in an estate sale. I paid $5 for it. It sold for $19.49. So it's about a $10 profit and it only took about two to three months to sell. Up next is a big piece of carved art. Really, really cool here with the dancer. And you've also got a face here. This one I paid about $5. It sold for $23.49 really fast. This one sold in under a week. And it is going to be about a $13 profit. Up next is a Hawaiian shirt that took forever to sell. Over two years on this one. So not all Hawaiian shirts sell fast. This one is a 
Favant. Really cool design on it, but it did take forever. Some of these sell fast, some don't. I only paid a dollar. It sold for 10 so it's about a $6 profit, but again, it took a while to sell. Cool thing on this one is it has wood buttons, but that still didn't help it sell any faster. Up next is a Zobel silk scarf does say that here on the outside it is signed this one i actually got from an estate sale with george the antique nomad i paid a dollar this one sold for 25.98 in about eight months and it is going to be close to a 19 dollar profit up next are some sterling silver earrings so if you see me selling jewelry it has probably been listed a while because we typically sell everything over on whatnot when it comes to jewelry now so this is a little pair of dangle sterling silver earrings i paid about three dollars these sold for 15.59 so they're about a nine dollar profit but they did take over six months to sell up next is a little basket little this is a very very pretty basket so this if you see this basket this is actually used to steam rice and i found that when i looked it up by google lens so it's a little rice steaming basket there is the bottom i paid two dollars this one sold for 25.98 so it's going to be about an 18 dollar profit and it did take about eight to nine months to sell up next is a denim and co anybody tunic so this is a size medium i've had these for close to three years and this one sold for 11.51 i did pay about two to three so it's about a four to five dollar profit and it took forever i did get this on a qvc palette so i used to buy returns from qvc hsn i have not done that i think this was actually the last one in about three years just because you end up with so much stuff like this that it takes forever to sell up next is a little longa burger liner this one is a Christmas one it's for the parsley basket you can see it is named berry red I paid a dollar it sold for eight so this one's about a six dollar profit and it sold in about two months up next is a little Harley keychain this little Harley keychain sold for $6.49 it was my friend Charlene's so we're going to split the profit at about two dollars each next very very heavy raw oh this has got a glass casserole inside of it so it is one that you put like the bunsen burner under there keep your casserole hot it sold for 38.99 i only paid five dollars so this one's about a 25 dollar profit and it sold in a few months up and next is a little harley davidson pin this one is also my friend charlene this one's over 15 so this is going to be about five dollars each split between us this one took about three to four months to sell up next is a tablecloth so this is a vintage floral tablecloth 48 inches this one i paid about two dollars it sold for 20 in about six to eight months and it is going to be about a 14 dollar profit up next is a big longa burger garter this one is not in the bag still we did put extra large garter this one i paid a dollar it sold for 9.74 so it's about a seven dollar profit but it did sell pretty fast in under two months up next is a really cool woven guatemala rug it's got birds they are upside down this one i paid three dollars i believe this was at an estate sale from george the antique nomad it sold for 25.99 so it's about an 18 dollar profit but it took about nine months to sell i'll turn it around so you can see the birdies not upside down so there are little birdies there as well as people and it's a really really cool rug only a couple of license plates are going out this week this is one of them this is a permanent new hampshire sold for 15.59 i paid a dollar so this one's going to be about a 12 dollar profit and it's sold in about four months up next is a idaho potatoes this is actually a new one i just picked up on auction last week it sold in under a week i paid five for this so i did pay a little more it sold for 19.49 so it's going to be about a ten dollar profit but it sold in under a week 
Up next is a spearhead. This is really, really cool. Picked up a lot of 15 of them. So we did tag them because they all look similar. So you can see a number three on it here. This one is the only one thus far that sold. Sold for $83. And I paid less than 10 each. So this is over $70 profit. This was the best one with the points still intact most of them the points are broke off so i think that's why this one sold first they have only been listed a little over a week up next is barney barney this guy i picked up at a thrift store for two dollars and fifty cents he is 24 inches so he's pretty big he sold for 25 dollars, so he's actually about a 17 dollar profit and he sold in about two months next is a little usa pin this one is a five dollar sale i paid pennies for it though so it's about a four dollar profit and it sold in about six months up next is a silk scarf this one is not branded it doesn't look it's like a teeny tiny i see this little paper tag so it does say it's rayon and silk made in Japan, but there's no brand. This one sold for $19.48. I only paid a dollar. So this one's about a $14 profit and it sold in about six months. One more license plate. This one is a New York license plate. This one sold for $15. I paid a dollar. So it's about an $11 profit. Took about four to five months to sell. Up next, if you do not know these, watch out for them this is actually a vintage butter mold you can see the cast iron around the edge it is hand engraved this one i picked up for only five dollars and it sold for 85 dollars overnight another really really fast seller amazing 65 dollar profit very very fast sale so watch out for butter molds some smaller ones do just as well some do better different shapes as well watch out for these up next is some pillowcases so these have got really really pretty heart crochet edges i only paid two dollars they sold for 13.64 so these are about a nine dollar profit and they sold in about three months and it is a pair of them all right up next is a doll and you can still see the price tag so i paid a dollar for this at an estate sale it's in a vintage whitman's chocolate box from easter and this is a little tiny bisque doll gorgeous gorgeous doll i paid a dollar she sold for 30 in about five months so she's going to be about a 23 to 24 dollar profit and she is going international so she's tiny watch for little bisque doll she does have her little bisque feet these can be big money there is the back of her as well all right so we have some big sales over on the other platform this and i mean that literally and figuratively it's a big old posh big old longa burger waste basket does have the liner and the protector 129 dollars sale over on poshmark i only paid eight so this one's actually going to be about an 85 dollar profit and it sold in about four months it is in great condition it's big and there is the bottom so remember though with poshmark you can't ship anything over 10 pounds this is about five pounds by itself so we will have to buy an additional label and pay some probably seven to ten dollars extra for the shipping but it is worth it because it was a hundred and thirty dollars sale and then that was it for posh this weekend over on mercari we sold this little badge this one sold for six this one was charlene's as well so about two dollars split between us up next is a little party light candle holder this sold on mercari for ten dollars i paid a dollar at a garage sale so it's about a seven dollar profit and it sold in just a couple of months all right up on etsy was only one sale it's actually set a four of these tian shan little plates and saucers plates and saucers cups and saucers they are crown ming i paid only a couple dollars for these this is something i probably wouldn't sell for this amount again so the set of four sold for 31 dollars and so actually eight pieces 40 31 dollars plus shipping so it is going to be about a 22 dollar profit and they took over a year to sell 
All right, so that is everything that sold just in case you have not checked out my reseller genie yet great accounting software for resellers it will pull in your information from ebay help you keep inventory help you have paperwork to provide to your accountant and we are going to give away a free month of my reseller genie so go ahead down in the comments put mrg all together no spaces for my reseller genie you will be entered to win a month free of my reseller genie and I am very appreciative to them for giving us the free month. So one of you will get to try it at no cost. Also, I said it in my last video, I wanna say it again, until February 28th, I'm raising money to help Dalton's soccer team. So if you buy me a coffee and from now until February 27th, cause I do have to give them a check on the 28th, I will donate all of that to Dalton's soccer team. So we have raised right at $1,000. 500 of that is coming from me. 500 has come from my viewers on whatnot. My goal is to make it to $2,500 to get a league scholarship. So we need 1,500 more. The kids need new goals and there are quite a few kids who can't afford to pay the dues themselves. So I'm trying to raise money for that. So if you are able, I would appreciate it if you send me a coffee we will put that towards Dalton soccer I hope you enjoyed and had a great week I will see you on Sunday with the last of the brooch research videos thanks again for watching don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't bye for now all right so I told everybody it was a surprise why I was coming to Miami and I don't really address this because I didn't think the rude comments justified a response. So I have not had a cavity in years, but my teeth are really discolored because I didn't take care of them when I was a teenager and in my early 20s. So I am in Miami to get some veneers. So I will be right back. So I am back. I am actually at home now and I want to show you my new smile. So that was my surprise I was keeping from all of you. I went and got veneers. I just got composite. So they actually just paint a little bit over mine to make them white. Since I had the fillings, whitening would not work. So yeah, what do you think? <laughs>